So that's number nine here. Let's look at number 10. And then we have two more questions uh, for the day here. So number 10 here is again, how do you write 0 0.4 as a fraction? So again, uh, these are very, very similar to the first two questions we did for today. So 0 0.4 as a fraction. So again, in this case here, we don't have a whole number part, right? We have 0 0.4 here. And we don't we have zero as our as our uh, as our the uh, the things that exist on the left side of the decimal place uh, ha is zero here right so we don't actually have anything on that side here but we only have the decimal part so no, we don't even have to convert it to a mixed fraction in this case here because I didn't have a whole part we can just simply convert it into a uh, improper or a proper fraction here so in this case again this here again always my tens digit here so tens digit, which means this here is simply just, if I want to write a decimal into a fraction here, it's decimal into a fraction. My denominator is always going to be 10 because it's only existing in the 10th tens digit. And then I simply have four, right? Or whatever is written in the decimal here as the numerator. So I have four over 10 here is my fraction. And then what I can do, again, I can obviously um, reduce to lowest terms. So I have 4 and 10 here. Both of them are divisible by 2, right? So I'm going to divide the numerator here by 2 and the denominator by 2. 4 divided by 2 is obviously 2. And then finally, 10 divided by 2 here is 5. So if I wanted to write 0 0.4 as a fraction in lowest terms, so I'm going to say here this is reduced to lowest terms. I can say that 2 over 5 here is my answer here. So this solution here is correct. 2 over 5 here is correct. As you can see, they converted 0 0.4 into 4 over 10, which is good, which equals 2 over 5. So this solution here is correct. Good analysis. Good analysis here. And then finally...